Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Volansky from Lamoille Health Partners, and thanks for joining us for this short presentation about COVID-19 vaccines. A lot of people have had a lot of questions about these. I hope by the end of the presentation, you'll agree with me that they are a good idea, they're safe, they're effective, they're gonna save lives and help us get things back to normal. COVID-19 vaccines thankfully are turning out to be quite safe. There have been two vaccines that have been available for a while. They are mRNA vaccines made by the Pfizer and the Moderna partnerships. Um, and now there's also another new vaccine made by the Johnson & Johnson company that we'll talk about in a moment. But if you look at these graphs, um, you notice that um, there's a very, these are very effective at preventing infection. Uh, the lines that go across the bottom of the screen are people who had the vaccine and that measures how many of them got COVID-19. And then those lines that go straight up on an angle are the people that got the placebo shots. And you'll notice that within 14 days of the beginning of that study, there started to be a difference. People who got the placebo shots started to get COVID-19 and people who'd gotten the real vaccination shots didn't. And you'll notice that, that that change happens even before the second dose is given. So even though two doses are required to have long-term immunity, you're protected even before that happens, even after the first shot. The other vaccine that's available is a little bit different. It's made um, in a very stable um, virus called an adenovirus, which are some simple cold viruses that have been disabled so they can't cause colds anymore and instead have been, in, been given a piece of DNA that makes them produce the coronavirus spike protein, which is the part of the coronavirus our immune systems have to recognize to be immune. Um, this vaccine does not contain any actual COVID-19 virus, so you can't get COVID-19 from it. Um, it is very effective at preventing severe disease. It's 100% effective at preventing hospitalizations and death. Some people with this vaccine still get milder COVID-19 infections, but it's still 75% effective at preventing asymptomatic transmission, which is when you can give the virus to somebody else, but you don't know you're sick. And it is very effective at preventing even moderate to severe disease. The good news about this vaccine is you only need one shot. So it's much simpler to have just one shot and be finished and not have to come back for a second dose. Now, after any vaccine, there can be side effects. Sometimes those are serious, but with these, they tend to be pretty mild. Um, it's very common for people to have site, uh, pain at the site of injection. Um, and then particularly after the second dose, as many as a half people can feel tired. And then a fewer and fewer people have other side effects like headache, uh, muscle aches, fever, and chills, and other kinds of unpleasant effects. But luckily those are pretty uncommon. Serious reactions to these vaccines um, is quite rare. Um, there were a few cases um, of severe allergic reaction to the mRNA vaccine that they think is due to um, a chemical called polyethylene glycol that was added to stabilize the vaccine. Um, polyethylene glycol is found in things like the colonoscopy prep that people take or a common over-the-counter uh, laxative called Miralax. So anyone that's had a serious reaction to either of those things should not receive one of the mRNA vaccines. The good news is there's none of this polyethylene glycol in the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So now we have an alternative for those people. Serious allergies to the mRNA COVID vaccines was extremely rare. It happened in only one in 100,000 people. Um, to put that in perspective, people who are, it's much more likely to be allergic to penicillin, which happens in one in 5,000 people, it's 20 times more common than an allergy one of these vaccines. And people that have allergies to other things like foods or bee stings or medicines can safely take the coronavirus vaccine. A lot of people are concerned that these vaccines were developed very quickly. Their concern being that perhaps they're not as safe as other vaccines that have been around for a longer time. It's actually a pretty remarkable accomplishment that they were able to develop two corona vaccines in just eight months. Uh, the fastest vaccine that was developed before that was the measles vaccine and that took four years. This was a highly coordinated uh, global partnership 
in which um, adequate funding was given to just a few people who were charged with developing certain types of vaccines. And they were basically set in a race with one another to see who could come up with the best vaccine the fastest. And instead of keeping their secrets from one another, they were openly sharing all of their information. So any um, knowledge that was gained was immediately shared by it with everyone in the entire scientific community. All the phases of the safety trials that are typically done, phase one, two, and three, were done simultaneously instead of waiting until one phase was over before starting another. That enabled them to save a lot of time. And they also began manufacturing the vaccine um, before they knew if they were going to get authorized. This meant if the vaccine didn't get authorized, they would lose a lot of money. But if the vaccine did get authorized, they would be ready to get that vaccine out to people as soon as they knew it was safe. The um, one thing that we're really working on trying to accomplish with vaccinating everyone is to achieve something called herd immunity. When everybody is immune, the virus will stop um, spreading and dividing in the population and there will be, and that is the only way that these so-called variants can develop. So if we get everybody immune, there won't be as many chance to develop variants. And given that we can never get everyone immune, if we accomplish something called herd immunity, then we'll be able to protect enough people so that folks will stop getting infected. If you look at this picture, and you see all the people in blue are people who are immune to coronavirus. Um, and then if you look, there's a few people in red who've not, been who've not been able to be vaccinated and who are not immune to the coronavirus. So the people in red can still get sick. But if they never encounter another person like them, another red person, they're never going to get infected because they're only surrounded by people who are already immune and thus they are protected. And that's what's known as herd immunity. So I hope by now you agree with me that these vaccines are very effective at preventing COVID-19, that they are safe for nearly everyone to have. They are definitely going to be life-saving. And the good news is that they will be given to anyone who's eligible free of charge. Um, they are definitely gonna be the key to getting life back to normal. So don't miss out on your chance to be vaccinated. In order to get vaccinated, um, you have to be eligible and the Vermont Health Department um, regularly updates on their website who is eligible to be vaccinated. And that is also where you can go to register to be vaccinated. So if you go to www.healthvermont.gov, you will see um, on this screen a little place that tells you how to get the COVID vaccine, whether you want to make an appointment at the health department or one of our local participating pharmacies. There's also information on getting transportation if you don't have a way to get there. In Lamoille County, RCP is providing rides and there's funding for that. Um, if you're having trouble either using the website or calling the phone number to get signed up, then you can call your primary care doctor's office or you can call our community health team at 888-6017 and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks for your attention.